Hi guys, welcome to the short video about this digital HTV antenna. Yeah, this is a huge trend currently. A lot of people are talking about cutting the cord and buying such an antenna or uh, go into streaming. So what I did, I cut the cord about yeah one month ago and yeah i'm saving a lot of money now i think it was really worse what i have bought is like a streaming uh subscription from sling.com uh, something like that and that's a really nice one not too expensive has nice channels but i just wanted to know what's in this area as well maybe i can add a couple of channels i mean sling has only i think about 30 channels uh, but maybe I can get some local ones here for very cheap money. I mean, this thing is listed for around $25 on Amazon currently. There are a lot of uh, these things and I just uh, thought I'd give it a try with this one here. Yeah, it says uh, free uh, channels, uh, simple amplified, long cable, long distance, easy installation, full HD TV. Uh, it's supposed to have a reach for up to about 150 miles. That would be really uh, nice. There is, by the way, uh, or there are a couple of websites like FCC.gov and a couple of other things where you can enter your zip code and then you should be able to find out how many uh, stations you can get with such an antenna of course it depends a little bit where you are uh, if you place it on a window or just a wall or have it inside so i'm going to check that a little bit for me so i'm a little bit new to this topic i'm not an expert but uh, it could show how easy or how difficult it is for a beginner to uh, add something like that use something uh, like this antenna here uh, it looks like very easy when we see the description uh, they say you have actually two possibilities you can uh, connect it. i mean you have to connect it to power but you can use it then in your setup box or you can use it directly on your tv so there's some technical data here if you're interested into that size it's pretty uh, large uh, yeah, what they also recommend is uh, to keep these things a little bit away from other electronics. Uh, that's uh, probably very helpful to have a little bit better reception. So let's take it out and see what we get. Yeah, so that's it here. Get the power adapter. We get this. I think that's the uh, booster. Yeah, here the thing. You can pin it to a wall, long cable and the power cable yeah this is really thin uh it is somehow a little bit bendable yeah not too extreme you shouldn't have like a problem to attach it to a wall or to a window maybe use even suction cups or so it's really very very lightweight it is uh, not thick it's uh yeah i don't know what it really is if there are wires inside so here we have it a little bit more uh, clear. I don't know if this is supposed to be removed. Uh, a little bit of a protection here. Yeah, I guess so. Would be really looking uh, weird with this uh, thing here. Yeah, on one side it was super easy to remove the thing on this side. Yeah, it's very, very difficult. You can see that here takes a little bit of time yeah what we get here is also some description some support information yeah that's the site here and i think that's exactly what i've been invoking the fcc gov media engineering D dtv maps uh, that's the site where you can go enter your zip code and then find out how many of these signals uh, you should get and in which quality uh, that's really helpful here so i don't have to put it down and here the manual yeah, you can see the model dvbt8015 and so some description hope you can read that that's yeah, I'm always showing the full manual so can, you can make a better buy decision or if you bought used or you lost the instructions. So sometimes it can help a little bit. 
so it shouldn't take too long. I think we are already done. Yeah, on the back it's nothing. So here the hardware a little bit closer. I mean, we have these pins. We have two of these uh, double-sided tapes and uh, also this one here. And we have the power adapter. Yeah, it's a little bit hard to read, but it's a 200 milliamps power adapter. So very weak. I mean, uh, standard power adapter have 1 amp or 2 amps. This has 0 0.2 amps. So yeah, if you want to use the power of your TV, if you have like a USB port in the back of your TV, you are most likely good to use that. I mean, this would be probably anyway more than uh, 0 0.2 amps but if you're having problems may maybe just uh, use this one but I'm going to try the power of my TV and uh, yeah we have to plug this in here of course this is needed for the amplifier and the thing is which is a little bit strange we have here two settings we have a short range and we have a long range setting I have really no clue why we have this and there is no description here in the manual it's not described uh, how we should use that but but I think uh, yeah maybe we try with a short range and if we don't find the channels as desired we go into long range I have really no clue why we would need that so I'm screen recording here a little bit uh, because yeah I had to record everything in the living room so yeah this is how it went then with this uh, HD uh, antenna you can see that uh, yeah the basically the worst or the, the most difficult thing was uh, to find out again after six years how to scan a normal antenna signal so this is uh, sometimes I think a little bit difficult or hidden these days I mean um, like 20 years ago it, it was a standard so in 2020 it can be a little bit difficult when everybody is used to just use HDMI and then uh, use like the channel switch on this device like on Sling or, or other streaming thing or setup box or, or whatever so when you have to use normal uh, scanning of your uh, TV signal can be a little bit difficult so it took me about 10 minutes to find out but then it did a little bit of scan you can see that yeah here we have it uh, that was only I think uh, four stations here I had it in the back I just put it in the back I thought yeah okay uh, most uh, TV stations are already closed uh, should be good inside no it was not only uh, four signals four uh, stations here in the back of the TV I mean there are a lot of things lo lots of other antennas here which is definitely not a good thing so and then I tried uh, in another area yeah here I think that was second thing here on at the window this is definitely what they recommend uh, directly at the window or at least close to the window yeah I'll tell a little bit more about that because it's uh, really surprising how it turned out but here I had it at the window and uh, I did a scan again uh, before it has only four channels and yeah I really had to search for the uh, scan again I mean the first scan was pretty easy but a rescan was even more difficult so yeah, I really had to try around uh, a lot. Yeah, and uh, with this Samsung TV, I ended with the, here. There's the antenna. You have the in antenna, and then you have to go to auto auto program. And uh, yeah, I did the search again, and it found definitely more. Hope you can see that. It's a little bit difficult to see. But I think at the very end I was much higher. I think I was mo uh, at more than 30 programs. Yeah, here we are at 10 already. And at the end, I'm pretty sure we had 30, 33, something like that. So, and what I did as well, then of course, uh, I, I tried to scan a little bit through these programs to see how this really works, how the quality is, uh, how good this is. Uh, yeah, I mean, it worked definitely. You, you can just use, uh, I think, uh, the channel up, channel down, yeah, as we used uh, 20 years ago. 
So I'm going to show that a little bit. Hope uh, it's working. Yeah, you can see that you can really do a channel up and channel down, but it, it's really slow. You can see that it takes a little bit of time after I press till you see the signal. I mean, it switches immediately, but then, then it takes some time and you can see there are some errors. Some uh, of the channels are really bad quality. Some are intermediate, some are really uh, HTV, really uh, super nice quality. So it's a little bit of a mixed thing here. Uh, some uh, channels it has found and then they didn't really display or really in, in a bad quality. So it was totally different and uh, it was definitely not the same thing as with the just cable or streaming when you have a, a fast internet. Yeah, there are a couple of more things. Uh, do you think this is what I already promised you? Uh, this is really super surprising here. Uh, I removed the antenna from the window and just uh, laid it down uh, just by like uh, by accident or by chance i mean uh, yeah i didn't think about that and, and just i uh, realized that the signal was here again i mean i moved a, a little bit around i i tried to find a good position i didn't uh, found something and i just laid it down on uh, on the seat here and in a sudden I had good reception again. So it looks like you don't have to put it in a vertical position. You can uh, have it also in a horizontal uh, position like this thing here and you can get a pretty good uh, reception. That's pretty interesting. And here I had it even underneath uh, these things and uh, underneath this, I mean, this is an electric device, massage device, and uh, even underneath that and not directly at the window, I had really good reception, but overall, I can tell the closer you are to the window, the better the reception. When you are at normal outside wall, yeah, then it's a little bit less. And when you are at an inside wall or really close to other electric devices, then it, it's going down definitely. And here's the thing with the uh, short distance and long distance. I have been trying around a little bit here with the when you are on the short distance, it's showing yellow. When you are on the long distance, it's showing green. So I tried with the short and I think it found less. Yeah, I think we had 30, 30 stations with the short signal. And then I went to green. You can see that's the long range. And I scanned it again and it uh, increased by 10%, not much from 30 to 33. So not a big difference, but yeah, I don't see anyway the uh, reason why you would need the uh, short distance. Maybe it's uh, when you are like in a really uh, crowded uh, environment like uh, New York City, Manhattan, maybe there are so many TV stations that you uh, would like to reduce the reception or so but uh, apart from that probably everywhere else you probably will uh, prefer the long range yeah then i te uh, made a test right behind the tv at the wall where it was uh, like most suitable from like this style that doesn't disturb i mean uh, when you have already small windows and uh, you want to uh, yeah you have to then put the antenna in in, in the window uh, then you have even less light it's uh, not really desirable so i'll just put it there where i actually wanted to have it no matter how good or how weak the signal is and then did uh, also rescan you can see that here directly behind the tv definitely not a good position it's not an outside wall it's an inside wall so it has uh, after that to go through another outside wall and i've been scanning and i think at the end uh, yeah it ended at uh, 20 channels so at least that and i think the quality wasn't uh, really uh, different so uh, as long as you get the channels here you do usually you can use them uh, even when you have the antenna uh, at the window there's no guarantee that all the channels are uh, hd quality and uh, yeah there are definitely yeah there were quite a, a couple of stations i would say about 50 percent which were really not good quality and uh, yeah what i i have found anyway there's a lot of trash on these channels i mean when you have normal 
uh, cable TV or you have streaming TV with these uh, main channels like ABC, NBC, CS, CBS, all, all these or sports channels or, or other things like uh, there's more quality I would say here with local these local stations there's there's a lot of trash there are a lot of things like from other countries i don't know if a private person or the broadcasting this or just communities i i don't know i mean uh, definitely a lot of really low cost productions or old productions i've seen a lot like the uh, walker texas ranger uh, and bonanza ranch and these things from the 60s and uh, yeah anyway uh, all together the whole thing was like a, a day trip back into the 60s or 70s i mean uh, with, with this slow scanning with this bad reception bad quality a lot of trash a lot of uh, old day uh, movies and so i really felt uh, back into 60s or 70s i mean it's a, a, quite a different thing i mean if you have to really uh, save some money you can save i mean compared to a normal full lineup of uh, cable tv uh, you can save maybe 100 dollars and uh, compared to streaming like through uh, YouTube or Sling or all the other things, it's it's probably around fifty dollars to save uh, per month. So uh, it can accumulate over the year. I mean, it can easily be five hundred a year, five thousand uh, in ten years, which you can save. That's uh, almost a small car these days, or at least in twenty years. So it it, it is money. I mean, it's not a, a crazy amount of money, but it is money and. Uh, yeah, you have to think about that but it's not the same quality it's not the same level it's not the same speed especially when you uh, are switching channels and uh, you, there, there's no recording i mean you could uh, buy like a setup box with a hard disk uh, inside and then you could instead of connecting this to the tv you could connect it to this box and then record something that would definitely work and you still could uh, save uh, money so but the, the overall experience is more like uh, really 20 30 40 years ago and not like in 2020 but uh, it still works and uh, yeah that's it for now i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments uh, just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time